Hey everyone, as always, Dylan Miller Prospecting. And today I have my partner in crime, my son with me, and we're gonna be doing a mail call. And the reason he's with me today is because this mail call is actually for him. For him. This was from HD Shovel Ed. He's got a YouTube channel as well, and I'll put a link down below to it. But he had emailed me and said he was gonna send me some gems for my son. They, he had did a gem video with his wife, and these were some of the gems they had. So he decided to send me some. Told him I would do a mail call with my son with them, so we're gonna dig into this. So here's the gems, a little note on there. Have a great time identifying the stones. Be sure and wet them to get colors to show. Surprises to be found. So dump all these out. I'll show you in a second. I'll move the camera in one second. And it also came with something else in there. For Dylan. <laughs> and some Tom's Gold Dirt. Uh, go figure, you know? So, I'll pan this out later. Oh, how uh, this is handcrafted by HD Shovel Ed. So, I don't know if this is Tom's Dirt or not. Might be Tom's Dirt that he played with some. We'll find out. I'll dig through that later. But let me move the camera so you can see the gems and stuff like that. I haven't seen, I don't even know half of these. Oh no. Oh, and I will tell you, one of the books we use when we're digging through gems is this one. It's Rocks, Minerals, and Gems. We got it off of Amazon. It's by Scholastic. It's a really, really good book it, for gems. It's upside down on the camera. Yeah, I know. Saying. <laughs> I mean, it's my son's go-to book. You know, lots of big pictures, which is always good when they have big pictures. Some of these books you look at, the pictures are so small, you still can't even tell what you're looking at. Um, we originally paid, I think, 20 bucks for this book, but I just looked and it's $13.99 on Amazon. Brand new. Used, it's 10 bucks. So, you know. But let's get to it. I do have a bowl of water here, so if we want to dip any of these in there. So we're going to go through them, see what we can identify, and then we'll put them in this other one. So what we got. Pick some out that you know are. Let's take those out. What's that? This is quartz. Quartz citrine. I don't know. Either quartz or citrine. So there we go. Wait, I'm hanging. I need. I really. Yeah. That looks like a mix. I don't even know. Okay. Well, we don't know on that. We'll have to look up some of these. Okay. It's quartz. Good. Okay, that's quartz. We know that one. It's quartz. 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 Rose quartz. Rose quartz. Amethyst. Quartz. I don't know that one. Pink. Uh, a lot of y'all will be familiar with that. Fool's gold. Pyrite. Pyrite, as he calls it. This I like this, a pyrite when it's wet. This is, might be. I don't know, this might be gold on pyrite because pyrite it's not forms gold. in squares. So, yeah. More pyrite. I don't know what gold looks like big. Yeah, it's definitely Once. not gold. I have no idea what this is. What's this one? Uh, amethyst. Some really cool stuff here. I don't know what this is. It looks like a crisp. <laughs> it's like a blue. I guess the ones you know. This one's jade. Mm -hmm. What's this? Obsidian. See, show them up to the camera. It's obsidian. Some jade. Here, hold up. Turn off the overhead light, see if there's less glare on the stuff. Da -da. This is obsidian, but like obsidian smooth and like half of it's rough. That's cool. It's so, like things like obsidian. Curtain. I'm pretty sure this is a desert rose. Desert rose. 
Here, I'll hold it. <laughs> I'll set you up for a while. That's really cool. Let's see if it changes a little bit when it's wet. Oh. <laughs> Still looks the same. <laughs> but it is cool looking. What do we got? This is quartz, there's like some other mineral. But dang it. <laughs> My arms don't reach so far. Oh, yeah. Camera's too far from him to reach. You just hand them to me and I'm doing it. This is, I'm pretty sure, just a rock. Alright, he says this is just a rock. He's <laughs> really yeah. just a rock. Hmm. Quartz. More quartz. This is one sensor tree, I'm saying. Oh yeah, that's a huge chunk of it. Yeah, this is citrine. This one I don't know, but it's really cool. Don't know about this one. It's not cool. See, we're going to be studying our book a little bit later. Citrine. Just... More citrine. Generally when you do through gem bags, a lot of what you'll find will be quartz, rose quartz, citrine. Mm -hmm. Things like Jade. that. Mm, that's not true. That, that, this is Jade. Jade. Oh, that's, These are really cool. Quartz. This is green quartz. I don't know. Green. Oh. Those are really, really good. I don't know what this is. I don't know. It looks like green quartz. I think it's just quartz. It's regular quartz. This is quartz with like a dollop of citrine at the top. Mm. Most... I think it's citrine. I feel like I'm going to say this is my cup, but I don't know. Mm -hmm. I have no idea what that is. I think it's my cup too. Again, I don't know this one. Right, what is this one? Do you know? Once. More quartz. More quartz. More quartz. More quartz. <laughs> is this like a. I don't know what that one is. Let me see. see. Really? I had to bring my magnifying glasses. They're, they're glass. It's like shiny. Mm. It's like red. Now this one's really cool. Definitely gonna have to look this one up in a minute. It's very purple. There's yeah, another it. one. It's red. Red, red I'll show these up again close later. I'm gonna put these to the side. Amethyst. This is not really smart. This is upsetting one. More obsidian. Another one of the common stones you'll find in rock bags. And it's gold. Hmm? There's gold right here. Is there? Yeah. A little piece of gold. It's hard to grab. Uh, tiny little plate. Hold on. You'll be able to see that even. Tiny piece of gold. Put that one in the good pile too. Show you a close citrine. up of that one later. More citrine. Jade. And what the heck is that? This one's really cool. Okay? Yeah, it's like, I don't think it's purple. Get this one wet. Amethyst. 
Okay, but I'm seeing it pretty much billions of times. It's probably them. It's true. Probably I'm missing that. Really, really cool. And that's a cool pile to look up. Another pretty strange rock. But more rock. Why would you find a rock in a rock bag? Emerald, because Jay does, does not feel like that. And they come really small again. Okay. There you go. Cool pile. I'm pretty sure cool this pile. is another one of the glowing red stuff thing. I want to say they're rubies. Yeah, I want to say that too, but... <laughs> we'll go hit those with the ultraviolet light in a little bit to see. Um, this is like a rock with like silver on it. Like, kind of flakes of silver. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's just a piece of pyrite stuck to it. Is this silver? Yeah, it's just a little piece of pyrite broke off. Yeah, there's lots of pyrite. A rock. And gold. More gold. That's quite a big piece. Ish. I don't get gold for these. I don't know. Another piece of gold. This is like amethyst, but it's not like see through. It's like a small bit that's see through. It's amethyst and whoa. There you go. When you look through this piece of glass, it's glossy. He has glass, but it's like a block. Hmm. Like not like a block. Are those teeth? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, let's see them, boy. Hey. Oh, what the heck? Damn this. Noisy up. Don't noisy up. Lots of shark teeth. <laughs> Lots Lying. of cool. Those are going in the cool pile. I like shark teeth. And Sharks are awesome. And what are these things? Mm, like see. red stuff and there's tons of them. I think it's just lava rock. Mm -hmm. Maybe lava rock, but it's not a gem. It's so cool looking though. Here is some smoky quartz. Shark too, and you saw almost knock this all over. Um, hmm. Is that gold or pyrite? It was pyrite. <laughs> See, everyone's always getting full of a pyrite. Uh, I think there's another piece of emerald. Another shark too. This is a cool shark tooth. The cap is broken off. Mm. Another shark tooth. Nice little pile of shark teeth. Quartz. More quartz. Lots of quartz. There's always lots of quartz. Lapis lazuli. What is it? Lapis lazuli. Alright, you heard him. I can't pronounce <laughs> that. There you go. I'm yeah, gonna get wet and see if it looks different. Alright, the cool pile. That's cool. This is weird. Hmm. Like it's, it looks like it's not like fully formed. Hmm. 
if it's cool. This looks like once if like. And it's a cool part of look This up. looks like once but like blood on it. Mm-hmm. That's really cool. There's any zoom cool ones. I'll come back in a minute and zoom in on them. Say, but I was like, really? I don't know. We'll look that one up. Add to the lookup pile. I'm older. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, guess. Mm, I don't think so. But we'll look up. I'll zoom in on all these and look them up in a minute. It's like a rock with my pasta on it. And it has like green stuff on it. So, here's yeah, some change. Thing. There's no way that people who did this are going to put like that much emerald though. That's well, like mm -hmm. a lot. We'll still put it over here. Another okay. shark too. Another one's like glowing red stuff. I'm going to have options I know. Another what we think is a ruby, but we'll look it up in a minute. Hey, I never said I thought it was a ruby. I did. Ruby's aren't cool, they are. Um, I don't know. Oh, what are you doing? I'm just taking all the shark teeth out. No, look. My cat. He's literally sitting on a chair. Isn't this the lapsy thing? Uh, yeah. It's not Lazy Lappy. What is it? Lazy Lappy. Lapis Lazuli. I almost forgot it. What the heck? Alright. Okay. Anything else really cool in there? Mm. Like this one again. Mm. That's obsidian. Anything that's black and More obsidian. Obsidian quartz. Alright, I think we've gotten all the cool stuff out of it. And this That's it. I don't know. Oh, isn't that the stuff that's... Oh, I know. So this is our really cool pile. We're going to go look them up, figure them out, hit some with the UV light. The gold, we all know what that is. So. Oh, oh, OMG. What See, somebody else doing? is interested. Point the camera towards him. You say gold and he comes running. Point, point the camera towards him. It's hilarious. Oh no, oh no, he's on the table. He's on the table. Get, what are you doing? What are you doing? He hears gold. He thinks it's part, he's part of this. You're not a part of this. All right, I'm gonna go. We're gonna go look up some of these things. I'm gonna go through my special bag with I got from Ed over at HD Shovel Head or HD Shovel Ed. Okay. I don't know why I said head. And I'm gonna do some close ups of these. And be right back. All right, back, finished checking everything out, looking at our book. Mm -hmm. See, my little buddy's here with me. So, we're going to go through it and tell you what we found. And I'm going to zoom in on them. So, show them to us. So, the first one right here is gold. Those it's are the obvious. two pieces of gold, obviously. Oh, so. is it? Does it, is that three? I'm pretty sure that's no, like. two. Then this is Adrite? No, or? Adventure Team. <laughs> Adventure, Adventure team, team, I can't remember. <laughs> and I will sh I'll put some pictures in between each one of these, showing you these even closer. These are rubies. So these are the rubies we found. And actually, and I'll show you these in a minute. I'm going to shoot another really quick part to this. Because the only one we really found was this big one. The other three we found by using this, our ultraviolet light. And we wouldn't have found them without that, so. Just going to be a little bit messy for this mm -hmm. video. <laughs> this is white because it's like yeah. really dark purple. These but are the four rights. And again, I'll take a picture of them up close too. If I can't get a good enough picture of them. All right, what's next? These are obviously shark teeth. Obviously. Lots of shark teeth to add to our collection. We have some already. 
You know, it's lapis lazuli. Yeah, what he said. <laughs> lapis lazuli. Right, let me get in the camera. He can't say it for some reason. He he was just saying lapis lazuli. And then this one is the desert rose. Desert rose. This is really cool. And what did you say about this one? It, I don't actually have one of those. No. Oh, so this is the first one in his collection. Everything else we have, because you tend to collect a lot of stuff. You know, and then the last two. Let me oh, the the camera pay a little bit. Oh, well, in the pay Yeah, dot. these are the two that we found in the pater. Now, in the pater, I don't know if it came from Tom's or not. And I know I said earlier it was handcrafted by H.D. Ed, but that's not what the card says. It actually says, handed out by H.D. Ed. See, I should have been wearing my reading glasses, and I wasn't. So this, I don't know if this is Tom's or not. To me, it was cool no matter what. I found some gold. Um, a nice little bit. I did not weigh it up. You know, I don't like to weigh stuff up that are just mail calls. That's kind of, you know, it's really cool no matter how much it is. So that was really cool of him. So, it was fun panning out. And I did find a couple little little bitty gems in there, little cool minerals. You know. Typically I don't capture these little ones when I'm panning out Pater. I just figured since we're already shooting a video about gems, I might as well. So let me get back to all of them. So that's what we found. Those are the cool, really cool ones we found, the rarer ones that we found, especially the rubies. And I'm going to be right back again and show you what they look like in the ultraviolet. Because rubies, one thing about rubies is they're really easy to find when you're using that. Oh, here are the four rubies we found. Actually, we only found this one. This is the only one we picked out out of all those rocks that we knew were as a ruby. The other three, we had no clue until we used the magic UV light. Mighty Max. Wonderful UV light. I'll put, there's a link. I always have it in my description. There's always a link to all the equipment I use in my description. And that has been in there for a long time as well as the book has. Because they're really good. I don't put just random stuff. If I don't use it, I don't put it in there. A lot of times there's a lot of stuff I use that I don't put in there because I don't think they're very good. Um, well, here we go. Here are the four rubies we found. Actually, we only found this one ruby. The other three we found with my UV light. And there it is. there's a link to it in my description. There's a link to all the equipment I use in my description. So you can just click this read more or see more button below. And I'll show you, but I'm going to show you what it's like. So you can see this one, you can kind of tell is red. You know, you can see, but these other ones, you really, really can't tell. So I'm going to turn off the lights and hopefully this works a little well. I've never actually shot UV with a camera. So don't think something's wrong when the lights go out. I'm just going to be, all right, turn on the UV light. So I, mean, I don't know how this looks on the camera. They turn very pink. I'll actually let me pick one up. So, and that's what they look like. They're really, really bright pink when you hold an ultraviolet light to them. So let me grab one of the other ones. So you can see. I mean, there's a big difference when you know that's what it looks like without the UV light, and then that's what it looks like with the UV light. It is really, really cool. It's probably one of the easiest gemstones to find with the uv light it makes it a lot easier when you're going through them like i said we had only found this larger one and it, afterwards i went through them all with the uv light and that's when i found the other three so great way to do it and it adds three more rubies to my son's collection i'm going to be right back with some more thank yous so just wanted to do a couple quick shout outs first want to really thank ed over at hd shovel ed for sending this to my son as well as some pay dirt for me so he wants to say something ed thank you so much for this like pay dirt and gems i really enjoyed it i had a lot of fun doing this all right and plus he didn't have some of these like this one he did not have whatever this one called desert rose he can't the, remember it yeah the desert rose that i can't remember he didn't have that one so i really want to do a big shout out to hd shovel ed 
And I'll put a link below to his YouTube channel if anyone wants to check it out. I also need to thank a couple of my new Patreon members. I have Jeff Kiker and John Minges. Both of you, thank you very much for joining my Patreon page. And if anyone else wants to join, it's patreon.com forward slash Miller Prospecting. And now for this video's 24 karat gold plated dime giveaway from Miller Prospecting. We're doing Strat Bluesman. So Strat Bluesman, your name will pop up in a second after this and you can email me and I'll send you off your 24 karat gold plated dime. So I'll show you the goodies one more time and thank you everyone and happy panning. So the goodies, there we go. All of them, nice gold and some gems and this rose something or another. Desert rose. Desert rose, there we go. And some more rubies to add to our collection. We're getting a really good pile of rose of rubies. So in a couple of days, uh, probably next week or maybe the week after that, I'm actually going to do a video with his entire gym collection so he can show those off. Sounds good? Mm-hmm, but most likely I uh, forgot most, like, That's all right. Like we'll go through them all. Yeah, we'll go through them all. He's got a lot. So we'll go through those. Thanks everyone again as always and happy panning.